It's a calling. It, I think it's a it's a fucking very noble calling, personally. Okay. And we're back. A little bit of a hiccup there. <clears throat> Could spend days trying to figure that one out. So yeah, I brave the geysers of shit so you don't have to. It's nice, I think. I hope everybody appreciates it. Because I can't stand doing it. No, I love doing it. Who am I kidding? This is called Brilliant Bob. Uh, yeah, it, it, someone in chat said that it's, it can't be a bargain bin game because it's $10, but... Uh, Whatever, I'm already doing it. This is Seco Twana. This is making me Seco Twana kill myself already. This is Bob, and these are his parents. They look like super meat men, differently colored meat men. Over the first 20 years of his life, Bob has grown to be a brilliant fellow. Then of course he fell into drugs and alcohol and loose women. And now he's a dirtbag. 30 year old dirtbag neckbeard living in his parents' basement. But not for long. Somewhere on the other side of the galaxy there was a strange planet. A planet in need for hap a penis. Why is it so small? Alright, I'm on it. There we go. Alrighty. They became desperate, so they decided to go on a quest somewhere on the other- I'm rereading that for some- What is that, a space fork? A quest to steal that happiness from somewhere else. It's an interesting concept. And the goal was Bob's planet. Which, if you look at it right now, looks like a an inverted Earth. I see an inverted Europe and an inverted Africa. And uh, they changed the colors. Fucking suck me off. The mis mysterious spaceship has landed nowhere else but in Sekut Wanna Kill Myself. Oh god, take a look at that. That looks like something out of Oddworld. Uh, it was nobody else but the terrible Dr. Magazzi. Armed with his dehappinator. Mr. Miyagi started to steal happiness from each and every bobbins and bobbinus. And soon, Mr. Miyagi had spread terror throughout the entire second planet. One family stood against him. It's Bob, okay? Having been left desperate, they were forced to flee and grow stronger. Man, he looks like a, a snork with additional head dildos. While Bob was busy uh, destroying the spaceship, Magazzi took the chance and found the mom and dad, and the powers were only so strong enough to teleport himself. Okay. Wow, this is... Take it forever, isn't it? Lore for days. Okay, he's gonna get his parents back. Let's do it. Okay, 3D platform. Doesn't look too bad. Space bar twice the double jump. There we go. Okay. I was hoping for a death animation. I didn't get one. Okay, the controls. I'm using Wast. Mouse seems to do jack, so we'll move it off the screen for your viewing pleasure. Rip. You know, I kind of thought that was going to be a Mario-esque flagpole, but it wasn't. But why does Brilliant Bob have a radioactive waste symbol on his back? Anybody? 
know what's going on. Okay. Hold uh, O or E, Q or E. Okay, there we go. So we have a decent camera thing going on here. All right. Let's try to advance the game a little bit. I'm not going to give up that easily. What were they trying to show me there? Isn't that what they used to do at the beginning of Mario 64? Show you the level a little bit, let you get your... Uh, your bearings. Oh, no. So I think what you want to try to do is keep the camera directly behind you at all times. It's a shame that it's not a little bit more intuitive than that. Oh, it's really... Okay. Guys, it's really difficult to control the character. And the fact that you have to not only worry about the character, but the camera as well, and you do, unless I'm missing something vital here, is uh, making it all the more excruciating. And it's making me Sakata wanna kill myself. For sure! Evil Lord asks why the camera angle breaks so much. I don't know, I think they want me to simultaneous, simultaneously control both the character and the camera, it seems. And notice that repositioning the, cam the, the camera, it doesn't kind of realign the character. Are you, are you seeing this? Like, I want to have his back to me right now, and I, I can't. God, this is kind of fucking broken. Alright, I, I did something. Now I just gotta rotate the camera. See, it's, it's not bad if you like spending time rotating cameras. Oh, Bran Flakes says to see if it has controller support. Which is a really good idea. Because if I could use both joysticks, both control sticks. Yeah, I'm an old man. We used to call them joysticks back in the day. Not to be confused with, with dildos of any kind. Joysticks. All right, I plugged in the controller. Yeah, it's got the controller support. But the right control stick does not move the camera. Oh, this is a thing, what's this? Yeah, the only way this game was going to be salvageable is if that right control stick would have controlled the camera. And it looks like it does not do that. In fact, it does nothing at all. Oh, shit! Jumping on enemies doesn't damage them, it looks like. And they move at the exact same speed, so I can't escape them. Look at this. A fucking brilliant Bob sandwich on ciabatta bread. I can't stand it. Oh, I'm not going to be able to play this fucking game, am I? Press shift to grab boxes and kill slimes. But I'm using a controller now, boss. Alright, let's try it. I'm, I'm going back to the keyboard. I regret nothing. Okay. <laughs> it did jack shit! It did jack fucking shit! He was like, ow, you hit me with a box, what an inconvenience. I guess he's dead. Oh, you see what happened there is the sprite walked into the box and died. The slime it entered the vicinity of the box and dropped dead. Oh, this is not... This is not playable, folks. This game is not fucking playable. What, what am I supposed to do now? Yeah, I went back to the keyboard. Am I supposed to uh, make that? Okay, looks like in theory I could make that. Don't die. Uh, RD doesn't even think that the art style looks good. No, it, it doesn't, man. It looks like garbage. And I, I fucking hate it. I, I hate it a lot. Right, I'm using the fucking controller again. I'm gonna give it another shot. How come that didn't work? I know, just lure them into it and they'll kill themselves. That's it. Yes, touch the box. Touch the box of your destruction. Fuck this. Maybe we could we could get somewhere if the right analog controlled the camera. I'm gonna just keep repeating that because it's so frustrating that it doesn't. I, I'm, I'm good. This game is, is going to make me vomit. I can't. Oh, uh, Brilliant Bob. 
Not so brilliant. I don't think I can continue to play this, unfortunately. Because of this camera situation. It's the camera situation that's that's killing it, really, more than anything. I'm going to try to make this jump one last time. It's a last-ditch effort. Giving the game the benefit of the doubt here. You know I like to do that. Get there! Die. To just fucking die. Brilliant, Bob. Rest in piss. I tried, Brilliant Bob. I really did. So the game, it does cost $10. Now, if I had realized that, I wouldn't have played it tonight. Um, but I don't even think it's worth a dollar. I mean, the way that that camera... That camera situation murdered the whole experience for me. I'm checking out the reviews section on the Steam Community Hub. August 8th, uh, 3D platformer. 3D meaning you better move your camera or you're going to miss a lot of jumps. August 9th, I hope Brilliant Bob never saves his parents from Dr. Magazi. Fuck him. <laughs> August 6th, oh I forgot to close this game when I went to sleep. Now I have 16 hours of gameplay. Graphics is horrible movement, too. I mean, you saw the issues with the game. If you're using a keyboard, you can use Q and E to pan the camera in a, you know, a 360 around your character. You can't zoom out. You can't zoom in. Uh, it's really unfortunate. It could have been like a halfway decent platformer if the camera situation was sorted. But the way it is now, um, yeah, I, I think I'd rather sk stick a fucking screwdriver in my dick hole than ever think about that game ever again. That I mean, that was really, really bad, guys. And that costs $10. That's, ten, that's a $10 game right now on Steam. Jesus Christ. Sorry I had to expose you guys to that. Vine Swole's here. Hey, Vine Swole. And Susan and Hermes. Hey, guys. Long John Hernandez of the Killer Crocomire. Tarantula Fever. Lamango. The Captain. Blood Fox. What's up, fellas? Thanks for coming by to check out some, uh, some shitty Steam games. The Geyser of Feces. Here's another one. I believe this game's coming at us from Captain Party Beard. Thanks again, Party Beard. For why I can only imagine. Oh shit. I have to. All right, here we go. We're in business. There you have it. Attrition. Uh, nuclear domination. Looks like there's a nuke going off in the back. I like that. I like me some poke, poke apocalyptic nuclear war action. Uh, looks like it's going to be some kind of RTS, I hope. I hope. Let's put the difficulty on easy. Just to get a little bit of the base gameplay opportunities here number of opponents let's make it two and uh, we got some options about what character or nation looks like we could be the oceanic dominion which I guess is the uh, futuristic Australian superpower overseer Mintaka from the Nordic power mongers. <laughs> All right. Scandinavians stand up. Kingpin in Sanada of the Southern cartels, I imagine, South America. Mistress Yara from the Amazonian League. That's an interesting 
choice. Commissioner Maxim of the Western Euro Police State. Master Ro of the United Cyborg Conglomerate. Or the Mentalist Kryn of the Soviet Overmind. Lord Seeker of the South African Monarchy. Uh, Overlord Prowler. Mechchan Empire. Mechan? Prime Minister Jin of the New China Sovereignty. Let's do that. That's cool. Let's let's do that. Can I do that? Looks like I can't do jack shit. Oh, there you go. Okay, so those are the three. Let's do it. The battle begins. Oh, they meant Amazonian, as in like Amazon River. Okay. So what is it that I'm going to be actually doing here? Besides looking at a fucking map. I'm trying to rotate the globe. Clicking on it, dragging it, thinking it's going to be like some Google Earth type shit. It does nothing. I could click on the country here. It doesn't seem to do anything. Maybe if I try clicking on these. No. Fuck myself. Okay. What's this here? Nothing. Uh, chat, does it look like I'm doing anything at all here other than clicking on a map like an asshole? Cecil is here. Hi. It says you can highlight part of South America. Yeah, I see that. But to what end? When did the nukes start flying? I want to see some nuclear fucking warfare here. I see a little helicopter flying around. Is that related to what I'm doing right now? Oh, it sounds like an explosion. What's that? Is that going to hit my country? Oh, right click. Okay. That did a thing. Right click did a thing. It made it gave me a little reticle on which to click uh, uselessly and futilely into nothing the way I've been doing this entire time. Oh, the arrow keys. There we go. Should have tried that first, huh? All right, let's see if we can nuke something. Let's nuke uh, Africa. Yeah, let's do it. Let's nuke that. Can we nuke that? No. How about Italy? Can we nuke that? No? Can I do anything at all? Here's America. Let's, oh, yeah, let's nuke that. Yeah, fucking nuke California. Fuck that place. Watch it break off and sink into the Pacific. Let's do it. Do I get to do that? <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. The game explains nothing to me. Okay. F to set fire mode. Let's press F. There it is. Nuke them. Go. Do it. There we go. Yeah. Fuck this place. Hit him with everything we got. Let's do it. I need the launch codes. Give me the launch codes. Bring me the presidential football. All the nukes. All of them. Let's go. I haven't seen a single nuke come out of my country. Not one. Maybe I don't have the resources for it. Also, the uh, the controls are inverted, so I'm, I'm pressing up right now, and I'm going I'm going south, and I don't like that. Maybe there's a way to change it. Uh, left click to fire or get resources. Alright. Let's try the defense mode for a second. R. Okay. That's what that was. I think what they want me to do is try to shoot nukes out of the sky. It seems, but I don't have the option to do that. It looks like I mean, I don't even see him. Tried. That. No, no, fuck myself. I'm gonna try to drop a couple more nukes before calling it a day. Before packing it in and ending my tenure as a world leader at a time of war. Yeah, if I could launch one nuke, this will have been worth the entire shitty experience. 
Just give me one. Give me one nuke. One fucking... One mushroom cloud and I'll be happy. Just one, please. See, I can't even target anything. Oh, I can target this! Yeah, fuck Australia. Let's do it. Please, come on. Turn the entire outback into fucking glass. Let's go. No. It's not a good day to be Australian. I'm missing something. Clearly, I'm missing something here. Yeah, I guess they're sending the nukes uh, into space, huh? Maybe they're trying to nuke the moon. For some reason. Yeah, it looks like the nukes, they go out into space and they're not coming back down. Yeah, fuck New Guinea in particular. Yeah, they're just flying around out there, not doing anything. Well, I learned something from this. And that being a world leader uh, is very difficult. Okay. I wouldn't wish the burden of leadership upon anybody. You're asked to make very difficult decisions on a daily basis. And sometimes you launch a nuke and absolutely nothing happens. You anticipate the disturbance in the force. You want to hear a million voices all crying out at once. And you get jack shit. It's really disappointing. It's one of the pitfalls of being a global leader. I hope that game burns in hell. I hope the developers burn in hell. The game costs 24 cents. Attrition Nuclear Domination is a 3D Missile Command style game versus up to nine other AI opponents. The game features resource collection, nuclear and nuclear suppression devices. The player can choose to be any of ten available nations. All right. Here's a positive review from August 7th. I read the store page before buying and I knew what it's about and I knew how to play so I knew what to expect. It's easier for people to bash a game and attempt to crack jokes in the reviews, but when it comes to pointing out their inability to read, they begin to riot in defense. It's a game about total world destruction and your mission is to nuke other countries while trying to defend your own. Wasp to spin the globe, spacebar to return home, F to attack, R to defend. Uh, when you start a game, you notice floating resources all over the map. Click the resources to send drones out to collect them. Did I not do that? Did I? Did I? Was I not? Did you not see me clicking the, the fucking resources floating? Pressing F. Maybe I didn't have enough, but I felt like I did it for a good four or five minutes. Right? Pressing F will switch to attack mode. If you click on an enemy city, you're given three options. One is to arm a nuke. Next is to fire the nuke or cancel the attack. Defending is very important since you only have a few cities. Rotation of the globe can be wonky at times, but this is really the only issue I have with it. Overall, it's a fun game. And with such a low price, there's no reason to complain unless you just enjoy complaining. I guess it's that. I guess I just enjoy complaining. Yeah, I guess I guess it's just it is a pastime of mine. To be fair. I tried. Did I not try did I not give it like a fair fucking shake? August seventh. Steam refund simulator twenty fifteen. <laughs> yeah, it looks like everybody hates the controls. Nobody really seems to understand the gameplay.
August 7th. This isn't good. It's a cheap piece of garbage. August 10th. This may just be me being stupid and unable to play, but this game is unplayable. I cannot do anything on this. You'd have more fun spending your money on a rubber ball or something. Maybe even another game. I clicked an enemy city, clicked launch, and nothing happened. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened to me. Oh, fuck this. August 7th. Why is Steam letting disasters like this be published? I'd be confused. August 10th. How do I fire missiles? August 10th. This game gave me a new type of cancer. Fuck this garbage. I guess these people just really like to complain. How much you want to bet that that positive review was written by the developer? It was written by the fucking developer. I know it. I feel it in my bones. Alright, let's try to wash that from our brains. With another piece of shit. Yay! Marco asks if I played the game that he got me yet. What game is it, Marco? Maybe I'm playing it right now. The Devil's Share. Now we could play the game. Or we could play Silly Mode. Wonder what Silly Mode's about. Alright, let's try to play it legit, regular. We'll play it vanilla, and then we'll try out silly mode afterwards. Okay, wasp, jump, uh, weapons, left click, F to interact. Silly mode extras, G, farts and burps, and cow grenades, all right. All right, we're in, okay. Using the mouse to look around. Looks like I'm at an abandoned gas station. An abandoned diner. But it's not abandoned because the lights are on. Looks like there's some. What is that? Radioactive goo? It's the keychain Pokemon. Keychain Amon. Take the keys. Is this. Is this gonna be a spoop? Or is it just some kind of FPS with elements to spoop? I think we're going to be seeing a gun at some point. Oh, I have... Oh, I have feet. When was the last time you saw your feet in an FPS? Ace Crab, hey, he hopes the game doesn't have zombies. Yeah, I... Oh, and I'm taking damage? Sorry, Ace Crab. Sorry, it looks like we have Zambi confirmed. Confirmed for Zambi. Maybe I can run with shift? Yeah, okay. Let's just run from the zombies for now. There's some more zombies. Alright, very nice. Oh, it's a running zombie. 21 days later, zombies. 27. What is it? 27 days later? 21 days later? Some fucking. You missed some important steps in the previous series. Well, thank you for telling me that, instead of letting me wander around like an asshole. It would have been cool if they had implemented a zombie mode. You become a zombie after your bit, maybe? It looks like I still have the keys. Which I guess is cool. Maybe we could listen to a song here, no? I don't think I want to go that way again, because I got... I got gang-banged over there. Let's see if we could head up to the spoopy house on the hill. I missed some important... Okay. So you're going to start me off without a weapon, right? And then you're going to throw this at me. Okay, I see how it is. Thank you, game. Great sense of progression here. Maybe it's because I didn't go into this building? Alright, so there's a gun in here, right? 
I got a flashlight. Maybe I could cave in their skulls with the fucking flashlight. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you type shit? No? How am I taking damage, by the way? What, did I step on a fucking rusty nail? I got tetanus? How did I take damage just now? For real. Now, nah, because that thing is neon green, it made me think that I could pick... Oh, no, that's just... Uh, look at the way that bottle illuminates. And I'm taking damage again. How? Anybody? Uh, how I'm taking damage? Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, there's a, uh, a gun. Nice. All right. Didn't see that there. Now let's try to figure out how to equip the gun. The game froze. Woo! Yeah! Cubestream says there's a gun behind the building. Cubestreams, you played this? Brick and Yosen likes the way that the character is holding the flashlight. So I can... Um, I can quit the game. Wow. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Let's try it one more time. Okay, one, two, three, four. Weapons, tools. I was pressing those buttons, folks. I am going to try silly mode, Ace Crab. Of course. How could I not? Captain Party Beard says I'm a recovering alcoholic, and the sight of alcohol causes damage. Okay. I'll get my flashlight. It's curious, though, that the gun's not here anymore. Yeah, he holds the flashlight overhand. It appears I can, in fact, use it as a weapon. Oh, yeah, I'm reliving my Cole Phelps days. Well, they are garbage cans, not cardboard boxes. No, there is not a gun behind the building. You fucked me. Whoever said that in chat. Yeah, Link, made with Unity. And I mean, that's like, what? Probably over 90% of these games. There it is. Alright, now pressing 1. Pressing 2. Pressing 3. 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, no, uh, the gun's not equipable for some reason, it looks like. Hmm. Hmm. Mm 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 hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Get my keys. Did you hear? I had to pound the uh, interact key to pick those keys up for some reason. Numpad? Let's try it. Thank you, Joey. No, no. Nah. Cubestream says to look behind the diner. Alright. Let's look. Nope. Nothing back here but disappointment. Bucket loads of disappointment. Is that meat? Oh, can I pick up the meat? Oh shit, another weapon. Oh yes. You know what was going on, guys. I probably don't have ammo for that uh, assault rifle. Look around the fuel tanks. Okay. Now I do appreciate that the game is showing me my objectives instead of just setting me loose trying to figure out what the fuck to do now I took damage from that thing what the fuck did you see how far away I was from it though Christ things got like stretch Armstrong Shot him. and I took damage from that come on Fuck you. Really? I actually started to enjoy the game a little bit and I got cheaped out. Okay. 
Okay, now we're getting somewhere a little bit. We're getting somewhere. Oh, shit. Now I gotta start looking for ways to restore my HP. Alright, so now that I got my gun, not terrible. Yeah, mine bullets sluice. Really? <laughs> he fucking walked up to me and looked at me and I took damage. <laughs> yeah. Um. I'm out of ammo. I'm ruined. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Evil Lord says Fallout 4 sure looks nice. Alright, so I, I get the point. I get the point. I don't dislike that, I guess. I, I don't appreciate how I'm taking damage from things that are six feet away from me. But what we do need to do is we need to check out silly mode, I think. Okay, we're in- Oh, I shoot chickens! Yay. Praying spray chickens. Why not? I'm gonna fill this entire fucking map with chickens. It's gonna be like a chicken- a chicken storm. A Zelda-esque fucking- Flock of chickens attacking the zombies. Where are these zombies at? The chicken. What is that? A cow? Fuck you! Oh fuck you! Oh get clucked! Get clocked, you cock. Yeah, it's a fart. Isn't that silly? You guys think it's silly? I feel sometimes that Blizzard uh, set a dangerous precedent in Diablo 2. With the cow comedy. Because, I mean, cows... Just really not that funny, are they? And why does it fuck off when I go near it? I just want to suckle on its teeth. For a little bit of milk. That's all I want. Is that too much to ask for? Am I, am I being ridiculous here? A refreshing sip of unpasteurized milk. Okay. Now that I can burp and fart and shoot chickens... I'm enjoying this game a lot more. I might recommend this game for silly mode alone. I'm having a grand old time. Yeah, check that out. What other game are you gonna get that in? Oh, fucking eat shit. I feel like the game... Yeah, they gave me 200 health. They gave me a chicken gun with infinite ammo. I think they want me to investigate the oil tanks. Breaking Yosa wants to give it a 1 out of 10 simply for the fact <laughs> these farm animals fly. That you can see your feet. I like that too, actually. That makes me happy that I can see my feet. Where are you going? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yeah, why not? Is this what you wanted me to do? Really, silly mode. Saved the game for me. I was gonna write a scathing review in the Steam Community Hub. But silly mode? Nah, I'm all about it. Fuck you. 
Yeah, great noir. It's 300 times better. It's actually playable now. Really? You know, I appreciate when a developer has a sense of humor. Especially one as juvenile as mine. You can count cows to go to sleep tonight, never mind sheep. Thank you for the infinite chicken ammo. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm having a fucking blast with this. Though the enemies still kind of come out of nowhere. It seems like they're trying to make it seem like they're coming out of these doors, but the, the doors are closed. Oh. oh! Oh! Oh, it's a pink cannon! Oh my god, yes! Oh yeah, I killed him with cholesterol. Point blank pig cannon. Yeah, silly mode. Ten out of ten, like Skyrim with farts. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's a sheep shotgun! It's a sheep gun! Oh yeah. Now we're fucking talking. Uh. What did I take? Fall damage? You know what? I don't want to kill Zambies. You know what I'm going to do instead? I'm going to settle down. And I'm going to start my own farm. We've got some chickens. Cows. Some farts. Need farts. Yes. I live here now, amongst the sheep and pigs. Look at my pigs. Aren't they beautiful and cute? Aren't they? Aren't they fucking beautiful? Get in there. Oh my lord, yes. This is the pinnacle of my gaming career. Okay, I, this I don't I don't see us playing a better game tonight. The Devil's Share or the Devil's Cut, whatever you prefer. It's funny because the name of the game in Steam is The Devil's Share. And on the top of the window here, it says Devil's Cut. So on top of all the other problems, uh, the problems, what am I saying? Look at this fucking orgy. This farm animal orgy. Just want to jump in the middle of that and get wet. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is happening. This goat is getting a BJ and some anal ingus at the same time. So on top of all the other problems, the developers couldn't figure out what to actually call their game. Because like I said, the window, it says Devil's Cut. And in Steam, it's called the Devil's Share. So I don't really understand what's happening. The Devil's Cunt? <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Gyro Burner, he wants me to take over the, uh, the diner. Diner invasion. Okay, yes, uh, how many of you are there? There's so many of us. Ah, uh, this poor waitress, it's the end of her shift. Little does she realize that she's gonna have to fucking serve a table of 90 pigs. And pigs, as we all know, never tip. Yes, oh my god, yes. No, don't go out the window. I'm 
I'm gonna see how full I can get this diner. I'm gonna fill this diner with animals to the point where I can't walk. I'm doing it till the game crashes. Waluigi, I am. I'm gonna do it till the fucking game crashes. Yeah, how are the Zambies gonna get in? How are they even gonna get in? How are they even gonna get into the diner? The pig slips is upon us. Yes, Luz, this should be in that zombie survival guide. Yeah, just hole up in a diner and cram it full of farm animals. Use them as meat shields. Oh my god, yeah. Look, they're spilling out! They're spilling out into the outdoors. Oh my god, the diner can't contain them. Oh my god, yeah! Yeah, look, there's some room down here. Let's get this nice and filled up. So who sent me this game? If you're here now. Was it Party Beard? Did you send me this? Oh, it's starting to fu- I'm starting to lose frames! I'm starting to lose frames! It's happening. Oh my fucking lord. Oh, it's happening, folks. Is this Marco's? Is this Marco's game? Marco! Marco, this is the most fun I've had in a video game in a really long time. Fuck Ark. <laughs> yes! Who needs dinosaurs when you can have an army of millions of pigs? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, yes. Oh, look, it's happening, guys. It's happening. In the ceiling. Oh, I'm in the ceiling. Oh, it's just a fucking orgy of flesh and wool. Feathers rubbing against nipples in the night. the way I'm thinking about doing a little playthrough of Fallout New Vegas. Probably not going to play through the entire game, obviously. But maybe try to do the main storyline quests. That like, could be fun. Look at this. <laughs> and amidst the chaos... Please, cr when are you gonna crash? Oh, Lamango points out that there's no cows in the diner. That'll that'll crash. You. Oh my God! Look what I've done. But look what it took to do this to this game. Look what I had to do. Here's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to go outside and see what's going on out there. Let's check it out. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh man, I can't move anymore. Oh my god. Oh, I fucking, I did it. I did it. 
Holy shit, I can't get to the door. I can't go outside. Oh my god. Oh, I fucked it. I fucked it so bad I can't even move. I can't even fucking move, guys. I'm trapped here. In the fucking hell I've created for myself. My god. <laughs> Jeb points out that he's not hearing the animal noises aside from what I launched. Look at their legs! <laughs> Look at this! It's like a fucking acid trip. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. Oh god, help us. I always struggle to understand what George Orwell's Animal Farm was about. And now I think I get it. This is what happens. This is the, the only inevitable outcome for any society that embraces socialism. Can you go outside the fucking... Please go, go outside. Come on, just get there. Get out of my way. Oh! Oh, I was so close! <laughs> so, yeah, table for six. Oh, shit! Oh! Oh, I was almost there. Oh, yeah. Oh, we made it, boys. Oh, we made it into the great wide open. Oh, I'm free of the hell. I did it. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Look what I've done. Look what I've done to this place. Oh, my God. Dude, the fucking... The zombies are just dropping dead from the frame rate. Oh, holy shit. The diner at the end of the world. <sighs> yeah, party beard. Stop motion. How did these fuckers get out here? I'm getting some of my frame rates back. Oh, yeah. You wanna play? You, you Zambies wanna play? Where you at? I'm calling you out, zombie crew. Come on. Come get me. Getting my frame rates back. This is good. This is good. Alright, you. Come. Come, there's something I'd like to show you. I just wanna introduce you to some friends of mine. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do your hitting me from fucking six feet away thing. That's cool. But wait, he just, he just dropped dead. He just fucking dropped dead from nothing. He just keeled over and fucking died. Uh. Yeah, come on. Come see what I've, what I've created. Come see what, look at that pig. Look at this pig. Yeah, come on. They just fucking dropped dead from the frame rate. They were like, nope. <laughs> Look at this shit. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> what the fuck? Ah, ah my ribs. Ah, all right. Yeah, come on over. Come, come to my personal hell. Yeah, come on. Oh, let's grab a quick bite to eat at the diner. Yeah, come on. <laughs> he stepped on a goat's head and died. He stepped on the goat's head and fucking just keeled over. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> Fuck out of my way. Oh, shit. Mm. Oh, look at that. Look at that fucking orgy. Oh, my God. Look at that writhing mass of flesh. Look at it. Oh my god. Hey, what's up? Hey, what are you doing? You wanna hang out? Come hang out. It's cool. Nah, come hang out. Yeah, come on. Yeah, 
come join the orgy. Oh, he couldn't handle it. It was too intense for him. It was all too much for his young, fragile mind to take in. He was not ready to yet see where babies come from. Oh, yeah. Look at them. It's like they're they're dancing. Look at this look at this pig and, and this this sheep. The sheep is fucking gyrating its ass into the pig's crotch. Look at this, they're twerking. This one's fucking break dancing. This chicken's just having a fucking seizure. He took some bad Molly. Oh my god. This pig's trying to fucking perform fellatio on me. Uh, I'm not into it, bro. Eh. Why is this so amusing to me? <laughs> all right. All good things must come to an end, I suppose. Nah, you know, I want to go out in style. Oh, what's going on in here? Has this room been filled with, with animals yet? What? Spy says it's a cock and load pistol. Get in the pig pile! Yep, get on in that pig pile. Mm -hmm. Grab hold of one of them corkscrew penises. It's time to manually masturbate the animals for artificial insemination. Mm -hmm. Oh, we need some cows in here. Army says it looks like an episode of Animal Hoarders. Get in the pack! Get, get in the freaking pack! Come here! Get in the pack! Get in that freaking pack! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, says the game gives a new meaning to the term slam pig. <laughs> oh, fuck me. And you know, also there's zombies, I guess. Let's not forget. Fuck out of my way. I'm a man on a mission. Eat shit. Oh, eat shit. I'm having, guy, I'm having too much. I don't want to stop playing this game. I have to admit, I'm having so much fun. I don't, I don't even want to fucking stop playing it. Lamangos says, look at the diner window. Oh, we can't even see the windows. We can't even see, look. <laughs> look in there. Look inside, it's a fucking mess. It's a mess. Let's fill it up a little bit more. It looks like they got a little bit more room available in there. They're not at maximum occupancy yet. Although it is probably a fire hazard at this point. That's cool. That's perfectly fine. Get in there. No. They're not going in. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, they're going in. They're going in. You better fucking believe that they're going to... Oh, fuck me. No, this is... I can't be over here. I can't be over here. Fuck this. Oh, hey, you having a problem there? Can I... Is there anything I can help you with? I heard a zambi. Oh man, did you hear the zambi? I'm so spooked. Let's go on up to the house and see what's going on up there. Let's see what's going on up at the house. Let's see if they're having as much fun up there as we are down here. Oh shit. We killed each other. And the last thing I see is that fucking diner. Oh shit, look. How come all the pigs and shit are still here? Oh man.
man. Perma pigs. The pigs are immune to death. My God. Okay. All right. All right. We're done. We're done. <sighs> if the game lets me quit, it won't let me quit. Jesus Christ. The Devil's Share costs 99 cents right now. Take on the role of Victor Locke, a mercenary hired by the church to clean out the filth that has begun plaguing the lands. Your current mission is to investigate a small town and find the cause of recent missing person reports. Yeah, we did that. August 5th. This guy is a great mercenary. Comes to a town plagued by the devil. Without a car, guns, or even a flashlight. Good job, Victor. You got Moxie. August 6th. Leaked Doom 4 demo. <laughs> August 6th, 6th. It was actually fun for five minutes. Then it gave me cancer. Um... August 7th. Burps and farts are mapped to one key. I demand the right to choose. I filled a room with about a hundred pigs and left. Boy, those devil worshippers are going to be sore. Oh, God. <clears throat> August 8th. My game is broken. I am shooting chickens, goats, and pigs. Zombies have ice skates and very long invisible hands or something. I also feel weird after playing this. A feeling of disgust of video games. Wow. Okay. August 7th. Uh, you probably shouldn't buy this game. It's not a particularly fun experience. Uh, I found a strange charm in it that made me buy it and play it through. I don't know why you would say that. If the developers were already established as a company devoted to making other kinds of software, this is a failure. If they are just a couple of friends who got together to make a game, probably they were too ambitious and the result is rough. Oh, and silly play mode should be way sillier. What? Excuse me? August 12th. This is a metaphoric masterpiece. The true game is about you fighting your demons with incredible damage distance. This symbolizes that life hits you when you least expect it to truly bringing an impact to my life. The clipping and buggy movements represent that it's not always going to be smooth sailing from here. You end up hitting a few obstacles in your way, but eventually you make it to the end of blissful death. Okay. Here's my review my personal review of the devil share you guys just watched me I, I had the fucking time of my life the time of my life just now and that was 99 cents okay you don't have 99 cents to spare 99 cents that'll let you fill a diner f with fucking pigs and sheep and chickens. 99 cents will can bring you hours of entertainment. Just seeing how many farm animals you can fill up that map with. Amazing. Amazing experience. Okay, in all seriousness, I had a really good time, but for all the wrong reasons. That's the devil's share. Okay. I believe this game was gifted to me by Vineswall. Give me a second here to get it set up. Okay, here's the problem, guys. The game doesn't have a windowed mode.
but I do want you to see it, I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it, and I'm not going to be able to see the chat, whatever. But uh, I think it's going to be worth it, I do. Having some serious technical difficulties. I don't think this game is going to cooperate with OBS, unfortunately. Here, look at that. Look at that while I do this. Enjoy. No. The game and, and OBS are not going to cooperate, it looks like. Oh, I received a gift. From Redigo. Call of Tomsk 7. Enjoy this quality game, my friend. Thank you, Redigo. Thanks so much. Okay. Let me try a couple more things because this, is, this looks like it's going to be good. Here's what I want to do. I want to try a monitor capture. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do monitor capture, and then I'm going to enter the game. Then I'm going to come back, and you have to tell me if you can actually see the, the game. Okay. Okay, it's called Gorky17. And if what I just did worked, you're going to be able to see the game. So I'm now going to return to the Twitch channel where you're going to tell me if this is working. It's happening? Alright, it's happening. Alright, new game. Somewhere in Russia, the 25th September, 2008. It's a beetle flying around. This is, this is gonna be some Chernobyl bullshit, isn't it? Somebody spent a lot of time on this. So I'm, I'm guessing it's some kind of Terminator like. Not Terminator like. Uh, predator. Predator like creature? The ice cream man, he profits so far suffering. 10 points to anybody who gets that reference. I feel like... You seen that already? No. Whoa! That was a spook. High production value.
And this is it. This is the this is game plan. Nope. Nope, nope. It's still a cutscene. Trying to be optimistic there. Yeah, it's pretty clear a lot of time and money and energy went into this. But to what end? Somewhere in Pol in Migger, I mean Poland. 14th of August 2009. So, boss, now can you tell us why we're here? Has anyone here heard about Gorky 17? Wasn't it a secret spy training facility operated by the Russians? I it was shut down last year, no? Secret, yes. Spies, no. Gorky 17 housed military experiments. One year ago, the Soviets bombed it off the face of the Earth. No one knows why. If no one knows, why do we care? As you know, this town has been placed under military quarantine. We've told the press that terrorists have struck here with smallpox. Well, this isn't exactly true. We don't know what is happening. General Gordon Lamar, chief of this operation, has information that whatever happened at Gorky 17 is happening here. Unfortunately, his first strike team wasn't able to confirm this, and we've lost contact with them. Where do we fit in? Our orders are simple. First, find any remaining members of Group 1. Second, Lamar's informant described a laboratory within the city. We are to find and secure the site. Everyone clear? We oui, I'm ready. Ovitz, are you clear? <coughs> what? Crystal clear. I'm ready, boss. Yeah, he's crystal clear, oh, as, yes. in you can, as in you can thing. see directly through his body. I prefer if we survive. For such a mission, what it is to too bad we aren't spring? experienced soldiers. Wait, we are. Sometimes experience isn't enough. Okay. Alright, let's do some stuff with my invisible character. Why is he invisible? Oh, oh fuck it! This is an what RPG? Is this? I told you, expect anything. What the hell is this? Let's well, go. never know, I guess, what it is. Guys, it's a fucking RPG. It's a fix. It's a fix. Alright, so let's do some RPG type stuff. Oh, it's a fuck. It's one of these type things. Okay. Like a, uh. I guess a Final Fantasy Tactics type deal, kind of. Yeah, punch that sphinx. Punch him hard. What happened here? What happened to these developers? Did they try to fucking make a game and just give up halfway through? Is that what I'm seeing? A for effort, I guess. E for effort. I wish I could see what was happening. Ah, I mean, if I could see where it was, yeah, I could try clicking on it. Really? Yeah, you punched that thing. You punch that invisible creature. And we'll never speak of this ever, ever again. Never again will we speak of this. My god. What is happening to the Twitch channel? Jesus Christ! And never again will we speak of what we saw this day. We'll bury it in our collective memories and pretend like it never happened. Oh, was it was it worse for you guys than it was for me? Whoops. Well, you know. These things do happen. I have 15 chat messages. <laughs> I had the fucking notifications turned off. 
you saw nothing at all the entire time? But that's why I tested it, and then I came back to see if, if you guys could see it. I can't see fucking... I asked if you guys could see it, you said yeah. You were like, oh, it's good. What? What? Listen, having a seizure once in a while, it's good for you. It helps clear the clots in the brain. It's good. Read up on that. Go Google it. It's good to have a seizure once in a while. It helps your um, the blood flow to your brain. I mean it. I, I really do. So if anything, I did all of you a fucking favor. All right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Some sarcastic ass. Well, that's why, you know, you can't be sarcastic sometimes. You know? Gorky 17, though. It was, it was it was worse for me than it was for you, I promise. Because whatever it was that you saw had to be better than what this game looked like. I I promise you. Because what it was it was worse for me. And if you don't believe that, you could go buy the game and check it out for yourself, because it's five dollars. Rodigo has gifted me another game. It's called Cheesecake Cool Conrad. Rodigo, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Well, that's Gorky17. I hope everybody really enjoyed it. Um, it was a good time for me. I enjoyed it. I've got another one, though. And if there's any problems this time, please do tell me. And please don't don't be sarcastic about it. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Alright. Alright, this is called um The Howler. Let's see if I can get it looking a little bit better than that. There we go. There we go. Okay, so it's called The Howler. And I guess we'll check out the story. Um, suddenly, I, I don't give a shit about the story anymore. I can already tell that this is a port of a cell phone game, it looks like. Oh, RD says, here you go, this is what we were seeing. Okay, I'll click that. Oh my god, no. Oh my god, no, really? <laughs> Guys, I'm so sorry. Okay, you know what the lesson here is? Don't try to stream a game that doesn't have a window mode ever again. Okay, so it looks like it's, yeah, a phone flash game. Okay. The legate of Vilnius, Antan Sidibras, sets off to inspect the city from above. He looks for signs of rumored riots. Fly over the cathedral land in the bell tower. Voice mode. Um, some devices might not have a bell Yeah, which, okay, they mean clearly, I think cell phones and tablets. Uh, yeah, okay, so it's receiving voice input from me. Press and hold left mouse anywhere to make, or make noise to go up. Oh, okay, so I have to, all right. <laughs> My balloon is rising. Stop! No! Okay, we're trying to make it go to the right of the screen. I'm trying to land the balloon to the right of the screen. No, no, go, go. Yeah, keep going. It exploded. My balloon exploded for no reason. Everyone's dead, and it's all my fault. Is it because I touched something? Carlo asks, want to know what else? 
is rising. I think he's trying to say. It's his penis, it's his penis, it's his penis. Yeah, that's what he means, it's really funny. The mango is dizzy for some reason. I don't know why. He's dizzy. Probably because he just had a seizure. Nah, I'm cool with that. Like I said, it's good for the brain. It's good for the brain. Okay. I think I see what's going on here. We want to get some momentum with the wind. To get over. Because for some reason, the wind... Blows in the opposite direction up there, and I don't know why. Oh, there it is. The landing point. Cock. Yay! I did it. I did it. A light signal apparatus is to be delivered from the cathedral square to the navigators. Pick the signaling device, land on the roof of the cathedral. Ernie asks, what is the shitty excuse of a game? It's okay, it's good, it's a cool game. I'm gonna try it again. Aegis Guardian says, yeah, this is a really fucking shallow cunt. Is that... For a game. Says it's a shallow concept. I don't really agree with him. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's alright. I'm adding another layer of difficult... Difficulty by talking about it. But trying to talk over it. As opposed to just what I imagine you could just blow into the microphone. Okay, let's try it again. It is a phone game, Sluice. A fucking really shallow one, according to Aegis. Guardian, who's in the chat right now? He's a pretty cool guy. He's just... Mm. 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 <gasps> oh! So close. I guess I gotta just rip myself now? No. Let's see if there's other ways we can get this balloon off the ground. Did I see Vinny's Sonic uh, Dreams streams? No. I didn't see him. I didn't see the stream of the dream. I heard it was pretty cool. A pretty cool game! I heard it was pretty cool. Yeah! Yeah! Why don't I have... There it is. Okay. Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? I am. I'm your daddy. I'm your father.
Okay, I'm joining this. This looks a lot harder, though. To drop the parcel, press space to tap the screen with two fingers. You can also make short, loud noise. This should be enabled in settings. Let's do it again. I didn't have the momentum. I didn't have the moment. God damn it. Oh, God damn it. Here I sit, a victim of my own hubris! The howler costs 19 cents. Use gravity, tension, and wind currents to get your hot air balloon to its destination, dropping off cargo on your way. In this ultra-challenging game, you'll have to use your skill wit and reflexes to complete all of the howlers dozens of levels august 10th first impression cute little physics timing game what could go wrong uh, as it appears a lot uh the, he's complaining about the resolution options uh it fakes a full screen by adding huge black borders so what i do that is that a fucking crime the microphone input cannot be calibrated into a rest sound. As a result, my balloon always went up into the sky. I didn't seem to have that particular problem. With voice input active, the game crashes a lot too, which means I had to play it with mouse and spacebar, which was an option. So if you didn't feel like sitting there making masturbation sounds, you could have used the mouse and the spacebar. You need a lot of patience in the first six levels. The main game mechanic means you stay at one height to get up to speed and then quickly rise into a counter current to hop over an obstacle. That was where I ultimately failed. Get the timing on this even slightly wrong. You may need to do it again and again and again. Okay. So there's one. Uh, August 10th, somebody liked it. Fun game, thought the voice control was interesting. For $5 and the colorful art that it has, if you think it looks good, you'll have found a small time consumer. This guy paid $5 for the game. I'm telling you right now, you could get it for, what did I say, 19 cents? August 10th, buy it, cool game. I've been playing the game for about an hour. For 20 cents, it's worth spending the time trying to get to the point because of that fucking wind. Uh, somebody here really likes the art. I'm seeing a lot of positive reviews. I'm seeing a lot of positive here. The Howler's representation of a steampunk Lithuanian capital Vilnius remains hugely atmospheric. August 10th, there are no words to explain the strange joy of screaming and mumbling at my laptop with purpose like this. I didn't have any issues with controls other than the package drop being sensitive. 
something easily mapped to a key and not my voice. Perhaps not a five dollar purchase, but certainly worth the sale price. Um, I get there is a lot of positive reviews here. I'm gonna go ahead and say that for 19 cents. Yeah, absolutely. Why not? If you're gonna be entertained by that kind of thing. I was a little bit, I don't know, then again, I'm amused by fart sounds, so what does that tell you? All right, we're starting to wind down here. Now if there's any problems with this game that I'm about to try to stream, visual, audio, Please say so. Don't be sarcastic about it. Okay? Okay. Can you guys hear the game? All right. Can you guys hear it? You can hear it and see it? Okay. Again, I'm not gonna be able to join you in the chat, so I apologize. Yes, this game comes to us compliments of Vineswall. Thanks so much, Vineswall. Oh, but it looks like I was able to get it into windowed mode, so we're gonna have a good time here. Wow, okay, maybe we'll use the, all right. Do I want to be a boot, a grunt, or a salty? I think we don't have to answer hey, that question, do we? What was that? Private? The arrow keys are really sensitive. And I cannot look up or down. It appears I'm playing a DOS game, as a matter of fact. And I can't aim at these fucking people. I did. You look to aim down! Aim down, man. Maybe I'm missing something about the axis inversion or some shit. Doom 4 leak, here it is! Oh yeah. Oh, you guys are fucked when I can be on the same fucking the same gradient as you, aren't you? Yeah. Look out for Charlie up in the trees! This reminds me of my tour and them. Back in 1967, I was a name. I was a name. So open space for the jump. I was not named by the way. And I don't mean to ridicule uh, the veterans. United States military, that is not my intention. Please do not misunderstand me when I said that I was a nail! And I had to time my fucking life to nail. They palmed women and children, I'll tell you what. Mm. I'll tell you what. You got gonorrhea from a two dollar prostitute. Suck, suck your two dollar. Bet you ain't never heard of that. Go to the hand or hand job. That's a way to die right there. Oh, this is supposed to be a helicopter, kids. <laughs> this fucking thing. I 
guess it's an older game. And I mean, there's no point in abusing a game for its for its age, right? Oh, the hand or hand job. Remember that was on my first tour with Naeem. I knocked up one of them prostitutes. Mm. And I emptied a clip on my comrades. There's no friendly fire, how unrealistic. How completely unrealistic. Okay, so if you don't mind not being able to look up and down, then this could be a game for you, you know? Oh, I could how did I jump? I could jump? Get the fuck out of here. How did I do? It's A. A is jump. But, <laughs> but the controls are all fucked up. So you need to use A to jump, right? But but you also need the arrow keys to walk. Okay, I don't need the mouse to look around. That was going to be my beat. But you need um you need the mouse button. To, I was using the mouse button to shoot. Beat Naum, Naum, Naum. I can't fucking, I can't do anything. It's fucking painful. Goddamn, beat can took my left testicle. Fuck you. This is a dark day for America. away from me, please. Okay, I fucked up again. Because Nam costs $7. But whatever. You are Alan the Bear, Westmoreland. Marine Corps Sergeant. The trouble starts on a deadly Viet Cong raid. Here the jungle is your battleground. Your mission, survive. Nam captures all of the intensity and paranoia of jungle warfare. Oh. On August 9th, someone says that I'll preface this with the fact that Duke Duke of 3D is my all time favorite shooter. And when I played Blood for the first time a couple years ago, I don't know what Blood is. I didn't play that. It is the best game I played all year. Um, with that out of the way, Nam is shovelware garbage compared to the rest of the build engine games. I guess that's the engine that the game is running on, right? Vine Swole was able to pick up the game for me on sale below 50 cents. Ernie thinks it's funny how Nam only cost $7, but it costed the USA millions of dollars. There are build engine mods with better gameplay than this. And it even feels like a mod due to its reuse of DN, 3D sounds, some art. The gameplay is linear corridors of trees. The game is more linear than Call of Duty. 
and you will be randomly killed by planes dropping bombs and invisible minefields. I mean, if you could even get that far. I mean, I didn't. I don't have experience with those kind of those DOS-like games like that. So maybe if you do, you could do a little bit better than I did. Maybe somebody can enjoy it. I don't know. I personally would never play a game like that. Personally, that's just me. There aren't many reviews. I'm ready to move on to my next game and then maybe wrap this thing up tonight. What the fuck? What? What? What is this? Guys, what is this? Oh. What is it? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> this is immediately the first thing I see when I start the game. There's no intro screen or anything. What the fuck, guys? It's called a new kind of adventure. And the controls, oh, the controls. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I can't control this thing. What is it? It looks like one of the things from Avatar. Oh god. Oh, I hate it. It's terrifying. What the fuck, man? E for action. Oh my god. I can't move. I can't guy I can't control the fucking character for shit. What is up? What is going on out here? It kind of looks interesting. Why is there a little kid? What is this? This is some Chris Hansen material right here. No, thank you. Giant strawberries. Oh, it's a fucking acid trip, guys. I, if I could only describe to you how difficult it really is for me to control this character. I think you just have to experience it for yourselves. I think is the only way you're really going to appreciate how hard it really is to control this fucking character. Holy shit. Space is jump over here. Some Sometimes uh, space is jump. Sometimes. I guess when the game feels like it, space is jump. It, it, it seems to be the way it's working. Oh, God. Oh, God, help us all. I do like the way the game looks. I like the, the aesthetics of it. trying to be positive here but the controls are really just damning this entire thing in a really really major way oh shit what did i yeah there we go jethro toe baby aqualung actually if i'm not mistaken Aqualung is one of the only Jethro Tull tracks that does not contain a flute in it. Alright. Okay, let's check out what's going on over there. Aegis says, is this the legend of blue fuck flute of time? <laughs> I don't know what I'm playing right now, man. I think I took some bad acid, man. Oh man, I'm tripping balls, man. Take me to the hospital. I need to see a doctor. So what is this doing here? Guys, I'm scared. I'm really scared. I took the brown acid. This area is not available in alpha version. Okay then. 
So we got a game in, in alpha. All right. I'm having a bad trip, Gyro Burner. Sluice, the name of the game is New Kind of Adventure. And it's definitely unique. We got to give it that, right? Carlo, what do you think the song Aqualung is about while we're on the topic? What do you think those lyrics... What do you think that song is about, man? Heredith asks, on a scale of rancid asshole flutes of t out of 10, how would you rate these controls? Is there anything lower than uh, rancid asshole flutes? Yeah, Brick and Yosin says, listen to Pink Floyd while playing New Kind of Adventure. <laughs> Three Foil says, the dick jiggle physics not available in alpha version? Ah, uh, yeah. Definitely not. What is up with the little sugar cubes laying around? I hate this guy fucking really fucking hate it. The camera is so bad too. The camera is just my mouse, by the way, unless I'm doing something wrong. Oh my god. So there's no going over there, right? Okay. Guess I'll just fuck myself. Werewolf, I think Aqualung is about a pedophile, yeah. I think it's a song of that about a pedophile. I do. I'm not, I'm not joking. I really do think that that's what it is. Alright, let's walk around outside for a little bit and have a new kind of adventure. The kind of adventure that makes you want to put a shotgun in your mouth and pull the trigger. Paint the fucking walls red with your fucking brain. With smatterings of white. The chunks of your skull. Let me guess, this area is not available in alpha version. No, it's available. Yeah, they're tank controls, Star, yeah. Okay, fucking suck me off. Man, that thing is just a fucking... Look at that. He's just a soul eater. into the face of death. Man, I can't even control the camera for fucking dicking around purposes. Holy shit. Oh, there it is! <laughs> yep, there it is! Oh, God. Rodigo points out the character's dick tendrils. Yeah! Yeah, we're having a good time. It's a new kind of adventure. Let's see what's going on with that guy vomiting a beam of light out of his mouth towards the sky. Tank controls. Eh. Oh, I was confused about what I saw. Which is like the understatement of the century, I think. Oh. Okay, we knew that already. Fuck off. Oh, I think I'm done, guys. This is this is starting to hurt. Oh, yeah, let's go for a swim. In the refreshing, viscous, blue liquid. It's fucking Smurf jizz. Fuck this so hard. Oh my god. Yeah, I did that out of boredom. Alright, so what say we try to make some strawberry syrup?
Oh, these controls. <laughs> these fucking controls, man. Yeah, we're having a good time. Yeah, I totally don't want to be dead or anything like that. Look at <laughs> look at that jump graphic. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he jumps from his fucking ankles. He doesn't bend his knees at all. He doesn't need to. Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. Who gives a shit? Vineswall says that the game audio-wise is extremely boring. May be interesting visually. I would like to jump onto this platform. Do I have that option? Yes, I do! Holy shit, you know how long I've been trying to do that? Oh, it looks like a thing is happening. Is the thing ha- No, no, that's just shitty camera work. That's what that is. Okay, then... Oh, fuck this. Party Beard says this is my spirit animal. Yeah, that's fine. That's fucking fine. I think we're done. I think I think we're fucking done. Yeah, I think we're done here. Oh god. The game won't let me exit. Oh, it's a living hell. It's a living fucking hell. Okay. Oh! I got another gift from Regai... Regai... Redigo tonight. It's called Gun Guy. Blaster Shooter Gun Guy. Oh, thanks so much, dude. We'll... We'll get to it next week. For sure. Um... Yeah, that was... That was hard. That was hard. It was hard, it was a hard thing to kind of muck through. Wow. It also made me very flaccid. It wasn't hard in that sense. The game cost 14 cents. A new kind of adventure is a 3D adventure game with RPG elements. Mary hides in a wardrobe after her parents had a fight. And there's an element of uh, domestic violence here that I don't think the game needed to be any weirder, do you? She falls asleep. When Mary awakes, she discovers that she is in a beautiful, magical world with giant strawberries and magical druids. August 10th. I came. I saw. I wouldn't install again. August 11th. Positive review. Fun for the whole autistic family. August 6th. It is very funny to find the best glitches. Was able to teleport myself 500 miles over the map. Oh, I would love to... I, I didn't find anything half as fun as that. August night, too spooky for me. Fear out of 10 would refund again. August night, I started game. I saw strawberry. I rolled strawberry. I didn't get to do that. I found cave. I explored cave. I realized that I have black stick. I blowed into pan flute. Inside cave, flower bloomed. I left in cave, ran into wall was floating in the air. I quitted. I had more fun writing the review than playing the game. 1 out of 10. Don't buy. Worst game ever. Ever? I think this guy needs to spend a little bit of time in my uh, Twitch channel. Might change his mind. August 10th. What you need to know. The game looks like diarrhea. The game sounds like diarrhea. The game plays like diarrhea. Game is somehow less fun than diarrhea. I'm pretty sure that this gave me explosive projectile diarrhea. Thank you, Rusty Frog Pubes. Wow. Not a lot of love for this game. Even the positive ones are just sarcasm. But, you know, it's an alpha game. The game's in alpha, right? Right? The game's still, they're still working on it. It's an early access game. So you guys can buy it now and become part of the development process. Doesn't that sound exciting? Okay. 
I'm thoroughly, thoroughly fucking disgusted. I don't think I can handle any more of this shit tonight. Not one halfway decent game. Not one. This was really, really fucking tragic. Okay, the Howler. Halfway decent, I guess. I'll give it that. I had a little bit of fun playing it. And I like the devil share because of the, the, the silly mode. And yeah, maybe it could have been sillier. But we're lucky we got anything from those people, okay? And that's it. We're calling it. I hope you had as much fun as I did. I want to thank everybody for joining me. Captain Hungry Spy Brick and Yo's Living Tar is here. Hey Tar. Sick today, the Aegis Guardian while Luigi Silver Sluiceway. Herodith Dith Nazir Hugh and Lamango. Erdy. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out. I had a blast. Uh, I hope I was able to demonstrate uh, what games not to buy. And remember, just because you can do it, doesn't afford it, doesn't mean that you should. That's the lesson. Okay, what may happen, because it's still early, but don't quote me on it, I may come back and stream a different game tonight. Let me see how I feel. I'm thinking about streaming um, Don't Starve Together Beta. Because I've been playing that game a lot lately and I've really been enjoying it. But I may not. So if I don't see you, have a good night.